All right, everybody, we're here with the boys 200 meter champion. Yeah, you smiling, you smiling. Christian Miller, St. John Striders. Dude, what was all of that about? Because you just broke the meet record twice in like two days. It was just remembering last year how I came back. I came and placed fourth last year and didn't run the time I wanted, so I wanted to just come back and execute the best I could. And I came back, set two meet records, and became the national champion. To set more of the stage for this inspiration, do you remember what time you ran last year? Last year, I ran 21.07 finals. 21.07, and now you run in a half a second faster. Like, do you know how crazy that is? <laughs> I mean, the fact that you also have another year left of high school, it's just, Jesus. I, I'm sure the college coaches right now are, they're, they're waiting, like, they're lining up along the fence, they're waiting. <laughs> I mean, how did you make that leap from one year to the next? What was going on in practice that is responsible for over a half second improvement? Well, most importantly, I was playing a second sport at the time. I was playing football, and I gave up on that to completely train. And from right after New Balance, after that, just from then all the way to now, I just kept training, working on everything I needed to fix, and just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Dang, you just said you had football, like, along with track. Was it a hard decision to make? Yes, it was. Yeah, so we're yeah, all yeah. in now. Yes. yes. We're all in. I think we yes. should all be scared. We got yeah. the ball. And you know what happens when football players stop playing football and just run track? They get real scary, so. Is it, I mean, you're now, like, getting on this level where you're watching the pros, but your times are quickly getting to that level. Like, Noah Lyles, Fred Curley, like, these guys better watch out. I mean, how unreal is it to see like the graph of where if you're running this now next year and the year after is that real does that feel real yet it's definitely a crazy feeling that almost two years ago i'd be watching all the college athletes and the professional i just think man i just want to i want to be out there running fast or even close to their times and now i'm progressing closer and closer and i can almost see how I think I'm going to keep performing and performing. I just see myself getting closer and closer to them as I grow. Talking about getting closer and closer, you just let us know that you were planning on being at U20. So how does it feel to to have this time under your belt right before USA's comes around? It's uh, definitely a good feeling. It really helps my motivation and confidence going in. Definitely knowing that I can compete with these guys, even though they're a year, year or two or maybe three older than me, I know I can right. come out and compete and hold my own. For sure, for All sure. All right, so I want to break down the race with you. We're going to watch it on screen here. But I want you to tell me what you're feeling, what you see. So right before the race, what lane are you watching? I'm watching the lane right next to me, lane seven. He was the second fastest coming in. I just knew I was just putting my head. I need to get out on him. I need to catch him. I need to put pressure on him to take me into the straightaway. Now, are you a starter or a closer? How do you describe yourself? I definitely say I'm a very strong starter, and I'm also a very good finisher also. That's why you become national champion. Exactly, exactly. Uh, maybe the middle, too, probably. <laughs> <laughs> he fixed all of his problems, and now he's good. So what are you thinking as you get into the blocks right now? I'm just thinking, make sure you have a good reaction time, don't fall start, and just get out, just a pure reaction. All right, what, what's Coach saying about that start? Uh, he said my first start, he said it was a little bit slow. He just made sure, he just kept telling me to get out quicker. Right here, I definitely say I stood up and just knew I needed to keep pushing. Don't let up on the gas. Just keep going and going and going. And right there. That Once was an cross, expert lean. It was. That, that it was. <laughs> You've been working on that in practice, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. coach tells me not to, but sometimes, though, when I get to the line, Shoot. I keep practicing lean lean. Nah, it definitely paid off because I was watching um, from up in the stands, and I was like, hey, look, if don't nobody else put no pressure on him, it's going to be all his race. He don't got nothing else to worry about. Right. So now, rest of the season, what are we looking at? Rest of the season, I'm just looking to – continue to execute my race and definitely come out and put on a show at U20. Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with us. New Balance Nationals <laughs> champion. We, we might see two more next year. Oh, my goodness. You might just see it. Yeah, you about to be racking up all the medals in the crowns. Shoot, we're going to have to order some more. Stay tuned. Thanks, man.